Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have talked about Adobe Experience Manager persistence mechanism. And as shown in this diagram, we know that we have various options available. One is tar MK instance and Mongo MK. And in tar MK, we have single tar MK instance, tar MK called standby, tar MK farm. With Mongo MK, we have Mongo MK in a single data center, Mongo MK in a multiple data center. So in this video, I am going to talk more about the tar MK instances, which are single tar MK instance, tar MK called standby, and tar MK farm. So let us see the first scenario wherein we have a single tar MK instance. And in this mechanism, we have a single tar MK instance runs on a single server. So here is the pictorial representation. We have an AEM, we have a tar MK, and the read and write happens directly. Remember, this is the default deployment for other instances. The advantages here are, this is simple, easy maintenance, good performance. The disadvantages are not scalable beyond the limits of server capacity, no failover capacity. Number two, here the tar MK call standard by option is available. So in this case, one tar MK instance acts as the primary instance. Repository from the primary is replicated to the standby failover system. Here is a pictorial representation. We have a data center one with a single AEM instance and a tar MK, which is a directly linked to read and write operations. And the data center two, which is a AEM as standby. And there is a tar MK, which has read write operations. And we will take the tar files from the data center one periodically and push to the data center two. The advantages are simplicity, maintainability, performance, failover. The disadvantages not scalable beyond the limits of the server capacity. One server is idle most of the time. The failover is not automatic. It has to be detected externally before the failover system can start serving rigors. Number three. In this case, we are using tar MK farm with AEM instance. So multiple org instances run each with one tar MK instance. The tar MK repositories are independent and need to be kept in sync. As we see in this diagram, we have multiple servers which are active. Every server has got its own tar MK instance and an AEM. And read write happens directly. Remember, this is the default deployment for published environments. And the advantages here are performance, scalability for read access, and failover. Thanks for watching this video. In my next video, I'll be talking more about the MongoDB instance.